Throughout history, unit colors have served as representations of military organizations showcasing their emblems and insignia. But that is not all they are to a soldier. To a soldier, the unit colors are a symbol of camaraderie with brothers and sisters who stand together, fight together, and sometimes die together. They have soldiers' blood, bravery, and history woven into the fabric. No other regimental colors are more recognizable in the Kansas National Guard than those of the 2nd Battalion, 137th Infantry Regiment, 1st Kansas. The unit lineage can be traced back to the Civil War and the days of territorial volunteer militia soldiers, when in 1864, Kansans mustered under the command of Major General George Dietzler and fought for the Union in the defense against Major General Sterling Price in Price's Raid. In 1879, First Kansas soldiers were formed into the 1st Infantry Regiment of the Kansas Volunteer Militia, and in 1885, the Kansas Volunteer Militia became the Kansas National Guard. Reorganized in 1898 as the 20th Infantry, the regiment served in the Spanish-American War in Manila in 1899, earning four Medals of Honor. They were called into federal service again for duty at Eagle Pass on the Mexican border in 1916. As America prepared to enter the First World War, First Kansas was drafted into federal service in August of 1917. It was consolidated into the 35th Infantry Division and was redesignated as the 137th Infantry Regiment that October. The regiment sailed for Europe and arrived at the front lines of World War I in June of 1918 during the Musagon Offensive. Kansas soldiers were faced with taking Volkwa Hill, a natural fortress that had been held by the Germans for four years. The 137th captured the hill on their first attempt and went on to take every other objective assigned to them. In doing so, however, they suffered nearly 50% casualty rates. After 34 months on active duty, they returned home and demobilized at Camp Funston, Fort Riley in May of 1919. The regiment was mustered to federal service again as a part of the 35th Infantry Division during World War II. As companies increased in size from 60 to 150, the ranks were filled with men from cities and towns in every corner of the state. The unit arrived in England in May of 1944 and continued to the front lines in Normandy on July 8. Although they faced heavy casualties, the regiment prevailed both in the Battle of saint Lo and in the Battle of the Bulge, beating back German counterattacks again and again. For the next 60 years, the unit was reorganized eight more times. One such reorganization brought them under the umbrella of the 69th Infantry Brigade, where individual augmentees deployed to Korea and Vietnam. In 2005, the 1st Kansas began their training to take an active role in the War on Terror and deployed as a part of Operation Iraqi Freedom, serving across the theater with distinction. During all this time, another Kansas unit, the 6th 35th Armored Regiment, was also leaving its mark on history. Just like 1st Kansas, the 6th 35th underwent many redesignations throughout the 20th century, all the while serving the United States and the state of Kansas faithfully wherever they were called. In the mid-1970s, the 635th Armored Regiment assumed the structure we know it by today in response to an ever-growing threat from Cold War adversaries. Its soldiers deployed overseas to Kosovo in 2004 as part of a peacekeeping operation in the former Republic of Yugoslavia. While there, they conducted stability and support operations and multinational exercises, returning home from their 15-month deployment in March of 2006. In 2008, the paths of the 635th Armored Regiment and the 137th 1st Kansas Regiment intertwined when the 635th was deactivated and the two units merged to form the 2nd Combined Arms Battalion, 137th Infantry Regiment, with its headquarters at the historic 18th Street Armory in Kansas City, Kansas, bringing together the lineage and honors of both regiments under the 1st Kansas. 
As a combined arms battalion, the unit received Bradley fighting vehicles and M1 Abrams tanks, which they used when the nation called on them to deploy to the Middle East in support of Operation Spartan Shield in 2018. Now, in 2020, as the nation seeks a heavier force to deter aggression, these units are adapting and changing once again as 1st Kansas redesignates as the new 1st Battalion, 635th Armored Regiment, Combined Arms Battalion, in accordance with a 2012 Army Chief of Staff Directive. The lineage and history of the 137th Combined Arms Battalion has been a proud one since even before Kansas became a state. Their unit colors and nickname, 1st Kansas, has served as a symbol of the loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage of the soldiers who have marched under it throughout the years. Today we celebrate 1st Kansas, which remains a lethal and heavy force of armor and infantry with outstanding sustainment and logistic support, ready to serve the citizens of Kansas and the United States wherever they may be needed. The nation will continue to look to the 1st Kansas for future state emergency response and national defense. Even though the 137th Regimental Colors are being retired, everything they stand for will live on. The history and legacy of the 1st Kansas will continue. With generations of Kansans still serving in its ranks and thousands of veterans continuing to live and work in our communities, the 1st Kansas will preserve its strong legacy of valor for service and a will to win.